Well, Disney and Lucasfilm just dumped a bunch of new stuff on us. Molly and I did a two-hour stream answering questions about everything, but I had only seen the Bad Batch trailer once, so I watched it again. And come on, I've gotta do a breakdown. From StarWars.com, the series follows the elite and experimental clones of the Bad Batch, first introduced in the Clone Wars, as they find their way in a rapidly changing galaxy in the immediate aftermath of the Clone War. Members of the Bad Batch, a unique squad of clones who vary genetically from their brothers in the clone army, each possess a singular exceptional skill which makes them extraordinarily effective soldiers and a formidable crew. In the post-Clone War era, they will take on daring mercenary missions as they struggle to stay afloat and find new purpose. The animated series will arrive exclusively on Disney+. Plus. There's no release date yet, but the Star Wars Twitter says it will be coming soon, so hopefully it won't be too far into 2021. But let's get to the breakdown. We see the Bad Batch's ship arriving at Kamino, which is awesome. So glad to see we're going back there, back where it all began. People, including myself, had a surprised reaction to this series when it was announced. It seemed an odd choice, but when you really get into what this story could mean for clones as a whole, it's very interesting. What do the clones do when their purpose has been served? What is life like for them? I cannot wait to find out. There are a few flashes of planets, that one might be Zygeria, or of course Tatooine, but we see Zygeria later on. This could be Edu, with multiple storm systems visible. I don't know, I'm just spitballing. But here is, I'm guessing, Zygeria again. I think they use it a lot in this trailer, and it's just wild seeing some Clone Wars locations showing up again in the updated animation style. It looks phenomenal. We also see them in the dark on a jungle-type planet. That could be Kashyyyk, or it kind of has Felucia vibes. They were supposed to have a Clone Wars arc on Kashyyyk before the series was cancelled. Regardless, I do wonder if we're going to see this series kick off with Order 66. People have asked me a lot if they participated in Order 66, and I don't know. But that's such an important part of a clone's life, I think they'll at least witness it, if not take part. It would be a gut-wrenching and powerful way to start the series, and would help ground these characters who were presented presented as rather over the top in Season 7 of The Clone Wars. We see them all on Kamino, and this looks like it's not a flashback or anything because Echo is with them. They're surveying the training course, and again, we're going back home, where it all began for every clone, but we see a lot of them in formation, and their individuality has been stripped away. No more colors, no more personalization, just white and black and gray. They're all turning into stormtroopers, except for the Bad Batch, so maybe they don't have chips after all. Maybe they're the only clones left besides Rex without chips that know who they truly are. Oh, and what if Echo tries to go through with Order 66 because he wasn't originally genetically modified? Maybe his chip activating sets them off as to something being very wrong. There's a quick shot of a fight with a Zygerian slaver. It makes sense that they would be involved in the rise of the Empire, who actively uses slavery to get what they want. We might see some of the enslavement of the Wookiees, which would be rough. There are some clones witnessing an explosion on a snowy planet. I have a feeling they're hunting and attacking the Bad Batch. I think that all might happen early on. There are plenty of hints throughout the trailer that the clones and the Bad Batch are at odds. Maybe clones who aren't actively engaged in a fight or a Jedi hunt are called back to Kamino where they see the Emperor's speech. And the Bad Batch isn't buying it because they might not have chips. They might try to fit into life as stormtroopers. We see them training against droids that resemble the DT series sentry droids from Star Wars Rebels and now the Dark Troopers from The Mandalorian. But certainly the Bad Batch won't be able to do it, and they wind up fighting with their brothers, and then they go on the run. And that's where I would guess that they have to turn to the mercenary life, taking odd jobs to survive, all while being hunted down. So we'll see them bounce around from location to location, like maybe Bracca, the Scrapper's Guild planet from Fallen Order. Thematically, that's pretty awesome, because we'll see Venators and other Clone Wars tech being junked, but the clones are also kind of junked to the Empire now. They've served their purpose, and will eventually be cast aside, if not right away. And on top of that, there is potential for them to run into and help a young Cal Kestis. They're also going to meet some new enemies or allies, like Finnick Shand from The Mandalorian. I love that. She'll probably be an enemy at first that turns into an ally. She seems the type. And there are these weird-looking droids. I'm not sure what they're about. Maybe they're Mining Guild or Zygerian or something. This planet looks an awful lot like Anaxes, so maybe they try to hide out in Republic bases or something like that. Maybe we'll even see what happened there to basically rip the planet apart completely, the way we see it in Rebels. Wrecker almost gets eaten by what I'm guessing is a Dianoga, and then finally we get Tarkin calling them impressive. I would guess that this is very early in the show. The clones behind him still have the red markings, but that could stay around. 
Either they're being debriefed after their first mission of the series, or they find themselves captured by the Empire at some point. Both sound just as likely to me. But that's pretty much it. It's a very fast and action-packed trailer. I love the logo at the end, having the Clone Wars logo burn away to reveal the Bad Batch, very much making this a spiritual successor to the Clone Wars. Excellent. And that's going to be it for me on this, because I've got to get over to the Andor series sizzle next, and then I might talk about all the other new shows, and then there's an episode of The Mandalorian soon. There's a lot, but it's also the best. I'm having so much fun going on this ride with all of you. Let me know what you caught in the trailer down in the comments. If you haven't already, please like this video, subscribe to the channel to keep up with all of our Star Wars coverage, follow us on Twitch, Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook, and consider checking out our Patreon page. As always, thanks for watching, and may the Force be with you.